Hey, it's Colby here if you don't know. And, um, oh, cool. Just as soon as I start talking, there's some drop frames again. Hopefully, that doesn't uh, persist too much because uh, it's not great. That is definitely not, that is definitely no bueno. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so we are streaming today because, uh, usually around an hour from now, you'd have a friend of mine, the real zero, uh, would be streaming and, uh, this week he's taking a well-deserved break. So I've decided that I was going to do my own thing and, uh, I was hoping that other people would join me in doing this thing as well, but uh, it doesn't seem like anyone is interested in this. So whatever, we'll just we'll we'll just do it live then. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Um. So lately, I've been on. I I've been feeling a particular game. And you can probably tell what it is if you're actually looking at, yeah, you know, anything, such as you know the title of the stream or the category of the stream. Or... Let's just get on with it, shall we? Risk of rain. The first one. Um. Now I've been, I, I appear to have lost my original save file from a long time ago, so I did have to start over from the beginning. Um, let me show you around a little bit. That's not what I want to do. I maybe get to do that later, but I doubt it. Uh, item log. So, got a fair bit of the items so far. A few... Uh, a few items are still locked. A few items just have not been found yet. Monster log, barely anything there. Five. I've played 17 times so far. Not a whole, not a whole lot of great runs so far. I think the farthest I've gotten is level four. Does it say here? Well, I mean, experience level 12, but like, um, progress level 4. Um, not a whole lot of these challenges done. Uh, as far as the mock characters, uh, we've killed the Magma War, and Wandering Vagrant, and Colossus to get the Enforcer. Beat the third stage to get the Bandit. And freed the chain creature to get active. And of course, we start with Commando. I am not good at any of these characters. I uh, usually my first winning run tends to be with Huntress. Um, but we'll see what happens. I'm playing on on Rainstorm difficulty with standard difficulty. I haven't played as Akron yet, so let's do that. So we got Festering Wounds, Ball and Lenny for 120% damage, uh, Neurotoxin, Spit Toxic Bile for 220% damage, Stunning Enemy of the Line for 1 second, uh, Caustic Sludge, Secret Poison of Sludge for 2 seconds, Speeds up Allies while slowing and hurting enemies for 90% damage, and Epide Epidemic. That releases a deadly disease, poisoning enemies for 100% damage for a second. Contagion, contagion spreads to two targets after one second. And generally cannot spread the same epidemic to the same enemy. Let's go.
Uh, so this is kind of a uh, range, uh, a variable range character. It's usually pretty close range. Um, Epidemic is a long range attack, but then you have this melee attack and this kind of short range attack. So definitely something that you can play from many different distances. Life savings is definitely good to have, uh, especially at the beginning of a run. It doesn't do much for you later on. Uh, this will give us a chance of rewards. Not lucky this time. And for every for every new attempt, it costs more money. So keep that in mind. That's one of the reasons why it's good to have the piggy bank, the life savings as soon as possible. Uh, hang on, let me just move this over here. See if anybody's talking without turning my head. Then pop the sludge and pick the damage going. If you can get over on the right there, um, there's a little space inside there where you can get something called an artifact, which effectively makes the game harder. Um, it modifies the game for the at least. I don't know if they all make it harder. Uh, this will give us passive heal- oh, not passive healing, will give us active healing if we can so. some enemies here with um, brighter health bars. Uh, those are elite. So they have more health and they usually have a special trait for them as well. Usually based on uh, usually based on their color. And give this one a couple of tries. We got the energy spells, I class up over health. And I'm also to the heal after kill. That red thing over there is a teleporter. When we're ready to end, to end the level, we activate that. Right now I'm just going to keep looking for items. And also notice the timer at the top right. And the difficulty currently very easy. When that hits 5 minutes, uh, the difficulty will become easy. And eventually medium, hard, and so on. Until that caps up. Some mines down. That's how I play Minecraft. Come on. I will say the controls in this are mostly okay, but, um, uh, it's a little bit sensitive sometimes, and I, that might be more of a fault of the controller that I'm using than uh, the game itself.
Oh, nice. I think we're about good. I'm gonna go activate the teleporter. No activating the teleporter does not immediately end the lever. It starts a 90 second timer. During which first a boss was spawned. And then also the general spawn rate of enemies will also increase dramatically. That's some quick work of this boss. And the timekeeper's secret, which I haven't gotten on this save all yet. Uh, if your health falls below like 1%, I think it is. Um, time will stop for about five seconds. Also, all of the passive items that you get uh, all have effects of stack. Oh god dang it. So the more of an item that you have, the better effect it will have. I can't I can't see that gap in the floor. Stuck on the rope there for a second. Alright, so now the 90 second has expired. Um, spawn rate has dropped to zero. And the goal now is to um, defeat all the remaining enemies. Once that's done, the teleporter will become active, and we'll be able to get out. Mine. There we go. You do have a helpful little arrow there that tells you where the nearest enemy is. So I don't have to go hunting all across the map just to figure that out. You're still not dead, are you? You're dead now. Alright, that's level one. And now, do it all over again in the dead camera. Yeah, cameras. Yin yang in it. Uh, the time based difficulty will go up, uh, will go up first at the five minute mark and then every four minutes thereafter. And now we're almost at nine minutes, so it's about to go to medium. Also, that big circle thing back there that we left, um, that will contain the, um, the artifact if you have unlocked it. There's usually some task in the level that you need to perform in order to unlock it. Sometimes it's just sitting. Eh, can't get to it. I want it. I need a little bit more jumping power in order to get that. is the same thing as the other type of shrine, except that you lose health. Uh, this is a risk. Oh 
my goodness. Uh, there is fall damage in this game, but it's... Oh, nice, okay. The fall damage will always take away health um, relative to your current health value. So taking fall damage will not kill you, I think, unless you are at like 1 HP. In which case, that is very well made. You have passed away. Try again. I get <laughs> I don't know how far we'll make it in this game. But I will do my best. Another nice thing about this game is that you don't have to go chasing after every little bit of gold experience. Uh, it will all come flying at you. The only thing that doesn't are actual items. Ah, I missed one! Over there! Oh... That sucks. Um, but yeah, that's the combat shrine. Managing to kill all of the imps will uh, give you a reward. It's a guaranteed reward. Dead indeed, J-Pop. Hope you're having a good night. Okay, come on. Something spawned so I can get some money so that I can open these chests. I don't know why you need money to open these chests, but, you yeah, know, whatever. Gameplay, I guess. There we go. Also, active use items um, all have a cooldown. The cooldown is usually pretty high, so you gotta be careful about um, using the item the most effectively. There are two, uh, there are three actually levels of chests. Um, small chest, big chest, which is the kind I just opened. Uh, small chest is that kind up top there. And there's also gold chests. Um, those only appear, as far as I know, in two levels. Banisters are free to open. They rarely have items, but they can. And those also come in three varieties. Uh, small, big, and gold. Hmm. No, I'm not going to do it yet. There is an advantage at summoning the boss early, because the earlier you do it, the lower the difficulty will be. But also doing it too early might leave you underprepared by not having a fight. Come on, 
one more. I open that big chest. We get Thalion. Chance to slow and damage enemies over time. And I see that uh, elites are, so are starting to spawn. Take care of you guys real quick. Ooh wah! Got a ground missile mark two. Uh, chance on enemy damage to um, launch three air to ground missiles. Um, player damage to enemy like me hitting the enemy. I'm good at words sometimes. Just sometimes. Uh, when you kill a boss, that is a guaranteed item drop. In this case, the Hoku Feather, which gives me a double jump. Hey Tyrion, how you doing? Hope you're doing well on this night. Gonna rain any moment now. Making it rain. Mortar tube. A chance, a chance on hit. You um shoot mortar, which. Is a little bit different from the outer ground. Because the outer ground is a homing attack, whereas the mortar just goes forward uh, short distance. Yeah! Come on. One disadvantage to the Acrid is the fact that um, the third skill is usually a mobility skill. The Acrid doesn't actually have a mobility skill, uh, but Caustic Sludge is pretty strong. Your standard attacks cannot be used on ropes or ladders, but your uh, active use items can. I'm gonna go look around here for some stuff. Mesh Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm not familiar with the term. Is that like basically? Uh, by the way, the item that just dropped there. Fourteen seconds hitting enemies caused them to drop the plate. Which you know what? I never really tried it. Let's give it a try. So is mesh Wi-Fi like using like Wi-Fi extenders and things like that? Yeah, I like Wi-Fi extenders. Okay, so the Acrid does go a little bit faster while spreading Gothic Plunge. Not much, though. Ooh, rusty jetpack. Oh, come on now. 134. 
Wow. Ding, ding, dong, we're at medium difficulty. Better head back to the teleporter as soon as possible. I'll just grab this chest and go. Delay heal after being hit. Also, I did pick up a drone. That's uh, something that can be lying around the level. Different drones have different effects. This one is a basic gunner drone. I mean, an Ethernet cable would definitely be a good thing to have if you're setting... I guess, yeah, like... I guess that's the difference between uh, uh, mesh Wi-Fi and just Wi-Fi extender, like a Wi-Fi repeater, where that just kind of receives the Wi-Fi signal and repeats it, effectively. Whereas mesh Wi-Fi, mesh Wi-Fi would be actually having multiple variables effectively. I need more money. If a drone takes too much damage, then it will break. And one gold away again! Ah! Really? They didn't die up there? Think about the mesh devices, the only, uh, the only one needs to be wired to the network. Okay. okay. Yeah, I've never really lived in a place big enough to require that. Let's go ahead and use this, uh... And we're dead. Dead! You know what? Let's try another character. Go banded. You cable long enough so you can get it around the walls. I'm guessing that uh, making a hole in the walls is not an option, as it is not for most people. So, bandit, you got your standard shot, which is. I think it's. Piercing to some extent, but it's still. Hmm. No, I was thinking Enforcer, never mind. Uh, so you got your basic shot. You got your mobility, which is actually turning invisible. Um, and you'll remain invisible until it runs out or you deal damage. Uh, you have this dynamite thing you can throw. And then you have something interesting called Light Set. If you manage to kill an enemy with lights out, uh, it will reset your skill pool. Want that big chest? Still need a, a cable equally long. Just 
don't want to move that router. I mean, if the most devices are going to be in your room, then that's reasonable that your router is going to be in your room. I still have the muscle memory for friggin... Uh, Akron. That was not a killing blow. Also, this use item that I have will randomly freeze enemies for 8 seconds. It cannot freeze bosses. There's a fungus among us. Sometimes you gotta trust the fungus. I think I can make that jump. I would need a little bit more either jumping or running power. Uh, that time actually I didn't notice, but uh, lights up was a killing blow. So it reset my skill cooldowns. It does not reset your active item cooldown. So be aware of that. We Ideally, you want to to make um, to make lights out a killing blow. It does also deal more damage, so you can use it just for extra damage too. Also, if you'll notice over there, the the wall did break there, so you can go through that if you can reach it. I cannot reach it. I think. There is an achievement for uh, doing successful killing blows in a row. I'm gonna try to do that. I don't think I've done that on this final. to easy. Ah, too early. Oh, that broke my chain. I'm gonna grab this barbed wire, so first nearby enemies. Thorns, as some people would call it. Don't really know what I was trying to accomplish there. Ah, jeez. Barbed wire actually took care of that jellyfish before uh, lights out did. Ah, same thing, jeez. This is basically a game of lasting as long as possible. But also, there is an endpoint to, to this game. 
um, the final level be actually being named Risk of Rain. And spoilers, it's actually raining on that one. So I got this tether thing that uh, does uh, taking damage to boss to your enemies. There is an achievement for doing lights out to kill a boss, which I've already gotten. Damn it! Uh, trying to light out a um, a jellyfish can be a little risky. Some people call this the game a roguelike. I kind of disagree. Um, I'm not gonna try people who call it a roguelike, but I personally disagree. This is an arcade shooter platform. Um, the terrains aren't really randomized enough for me to want to call it a roguelike. And as far as it being permadeath, it's permadeath in the same way that an, that an arcade game is permadeath. Uh, you do get different level orders. So now we're in Sky Meadow instead of the um, the cave. Hi. Uh, the other one got in front. That is bad placement. Hey, buddy. Can you please not do that? I don't think that was particularly worth it, but I got it anyway.
You kill enough of an enemy, you get its monster. Yeah. Right now, I'm looking for 15 of those so I can get my favorite character. Monster 2. Oh, that's a tough choice. But. Hmm. I'm gonna take the war banner. So that's a uh, that's an item that gets progressively more useless over time. You want to get it as early as possible. Uh, it puts down a war banner when you level up, and when you are in range of the war banner. Um, your attack speed it goes up. Exciting. Lights up. Oh, really? That was not a successful light trap? Hang on. As you can see now, I, fa I fire off a lot faster. Go out to the teleporter. I was getting a little bit uh, over focused there, and I let myself ding ding dong and dard. I would like to get a really good game going. Um, mostly because. The difficulties start getting interesting names. And I'd rather show those off. Oh, just immediately spawning the boss, cool. I mean, it's a safe place. Well, safe from everything except for the um, jellyfish, anyway. Oh, geez, something is hitting me pretty hard. And then I die. My internal organs have failed. One more run with the bandit, then I'll try another class. up here. Not a damn thing.
Anything out here? Yes. It costs 50. Oops. That's still not gonna be enough. Another 50. Oh, let's get this. Get the mines again, sure. Because those always work out. Bundle of fireworks, that's a good one to have. Every time you open it says every time you open a chest, um, fireworks will come out. But it's every time you open a chest or even interact with um, a uh, drone or a shrine. Anything that costs you money. Effectively. Anything that costs you money and the canister. Which don't. Oh, and another one. Or we're just gonna get more fire. As you can see, randomly getting money out of that, except it's not actually random. They got owned by the fireworks. Fireworks are dangerous, folks. Especially in this game. Going. Okay, got fifty. Only need 25 for this chest. Ooh, Paul's got a... I'll give us a faster running speed. So cool and down. Knows me well enough will uh, know that I like me speedy quick character. Come on. There we go. All right, life saving, nice and early. Other guy, five machine. And you know what? I've completely forgotten where the teleporter was. I know it's not up there. And smart shopper. Another good thing to have. Enemies got more gold.
Where is that tunnel? I have my doubts are up there. That's usually an optional path. There it is. I have a feeling we're gonna get magma warm. Oh no, a locker. Okay. Well, this is nice and easy. Magma worm is probably the worst one. I haven't seen it yet. What's that? Nope. Another plasma chain. Interesting. Oh, God damn. Oh, those enemies are going to be annoying to get back to. Oh, come on. Also, an important thing to note, um, enemies that are not on screen can despawn. I was hoping to just be able to keep those guys from here. Enemies that are not on screen can despawn, but once the teleporter timer runs out, enemies can no longer despawn. Everything that's on the field will remain on the field until it dies. Or until you die. Whichever comes first. Lots of extra money. You always start a level with no money, but any money that you carry over will um, become experience. The one way damn cavern, I think. Oh, wait, no. I am just confusing things again. I can take another one, but that would take me down to 20 inch feet. We saw what happened last time. Take gasoline as soon as I can get back to it. Oh wait, not, not gasoline, that's meat nugget. Uh, meat nugget will cause enemies to um, basically spurt out in giblets. They can collect the giblets for health. Kind of morbid, but uh, you do what you gotta do to survive. forward key. Any chests on the screen will be opened for free. That hubris is gonna cost me my life, I think. Especially if I go around not using this. Powers of sight, so critical hits to heal. A 
little too crowded down there for me. Banner yet, and I'm like, and I'll grab War Banner. Better late than way too late. There, that, that's the effect of uh, War Banner. Unfortunately, I can't take it with you. It just sits there exactly where you leveled up. And two items on top of each other. Huh? That's not great. I think one of them gives me regen, and the other one was the reflecting armor. So once I've taken a heavy hit six times, I will start reflecting damage for a short period. Oh geez. Nope. 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 Take advantage of the fact, Coolio, that you can go invisible. I definitely do not want to hit the teleporter yet. Also to note that um, hitting the teleporter will automatically and immediately cause oh, really low damage. Cause every sacrifice shrine like this one to become destroyed. Reason being, once everything is dead, you'd just be able to sit there, recover health, and just farm the uh, from the shrine until um, it actually is yeah, depleted or it becomes just too expensive. Nothing though. Also, we're not fine anymore. Three of these sniper assholes. Explorer's Key is definitely a risk reward thing. You might pick up an Explorer's Key and then just not find any chests at all. Thus making it absolutely not worth it. Or you can find an Explorer's Key and then shortly after find a gold chest. I'm gonna go activate the top one. 
pretty much melt this level for as many items as it can get. So a good idea would be to activate the teleporter, then come back to the war banner. Worm. Hey Maggie, how you doing? War banners, so um, I don't know if the war banners themselves stack. Um, the war banner effect, as far as a single war banner, does not stack, but uh, the range does. They just get more and more of them, like larger and larger range. Up. But nothing else is going to on. You'll notice the remaining enemy count operating there. So it's got going up by 20 and then down again by 20. Uh, that is basically an effect of the um, kind of a side effect of the magma worm because it's made of 21 segments and only one of them exists when it's off screen. How about extension stream of lava? Brilliant. So I'm sure you see the problem in this. Hmm. I can't get up there, can I? No. I kind of put my eggs in one basket. So. Now everything is spawned all at the same place. I'm gonna die. Oh right, I can stop time for a second. Ooh, okay. Also, there's a little corner of that platform. Which is affected by the um, by the war banner. So it's a matter of just kind of sitting in that corner and hoping for the best and not dying. Okay, so we got some pretty good damage going. Things are going great with the over twenty enemies on one platform. Okay, so just the one sniper left, that's the big problem. Oh, thank you for giving me that one monster log, and fuck you for dropping another one. <laughs> okay, let's review our stuff. Um... Wait, what? 
did we get that was new? Also, I, I will show off at least one of these items, let's say this one, Infusion. So killing an enemy increases your health permanently by one. And then you have like this whole order details thing, which is kind of interesting, kind of a world building thing that absolutely doesn't need to be there. Um, so what what the story is of Risk of Rain is that you were on the UES contact light. Uh, I believe you were a prisoner being transported to another planet when all of a sudden the UES contact light was taken down and crashed onto some uninhabited planet somewhere. Uh, so now you need to... Uh, so you were ejected in an escape pod and your goal is to get back to the UES contact light uh, and fly it out of here. Basically abscond with everything that you possibly can and just get away. So it contains samples from bears, leeches, tigers, elephants, elephant sharks, sharks, bull sharks, and cement eaters. Simply hook up it to a dialysis machine along with the necessary equipment and swap out your blood for genetically superior ones. You can have whatever blood sample you want as far as I know. Just make sure you take the pills that allow the body to accept the new blood or your body will reject this cross species in fusion. Remember that sampling uh, from other animals is a great basis for experimentation. It's kind of messed up, not gonna lie. It's sent to Rage Valley. Nice. That's made delivery 2-8-2056. Monster log, we got the mushroom. We got a whole bunch of notes here about the mushroom. I'm not gonna go like and read all of that. And what have we got here? So, our fastest boss kill now 15 seconds, our longest game 21 minutes 28 seconds. And we haven't really unlocked anything else here. Oh, that was that achievement. Stay in shield mode for five minutes straight in combat specifically. Well, we can try to get that. And yeah, reset your cooldown 15 times consecutively. So I'm successfully using lights out 15 times in a row. So I'm gonna real quick take a med, that's the thing that I do a couple times every day. I'm not gonna put on the pause screen for it, I'm just gonna do it and uh, maybe refill my water. When I come back, um, we'll get started with a run with uh, Big Enforcer, so stay tuned.
it seems that um, for as few comments and things as I get, Uh, on my VOD repo channel. The bots have found it. That's cool. But now I have to moderate a comment real quick. I'm sorry. No comments found. I can definitely tell you that there was a comment there. Uh, which one was it? Virtue's last reward by one. This one. The rest of the page. Now that's the sixth one. Five one. This one. Interesting. There is there is a comment, but the comment doesn't even cool. Anyway. Okay, let's get back to this game, shall we? Risk of Rift. gonna do Enforcer this time. So this one has a short range blast for 106% damage hitting all enemies without his piercing. Uh, shield slam so you do have a shield that you can use to kind of shield bash push enemies away. Protect and serve but didn't age well. Uh, take a defensive stance blocking all damage from the front. Increases attack speed but reduces movement. And crack control, launch a stun grenade, hunting enemies at a huge radius for 250% damage, and can bounce at shadow range. Get started. But basically, ah. the the way to get that achievement is just kind of sit as close to the edge as possible. Oh. I didn't get it that time because I had to kill everything because of that uh, jellyfish. But yeah, just sit as close to the edge as possible and just tank everything for five minutes. Quibs. Release, release a bloom of quibs. Uh, if you're wondering what that is, basically this. It wrecked space. Quibs are pretty great. I could just stay here and do this. That would make for very engaging, um, very engaging footage. So I'll do that on my own time. Oop. 
pretty big range on the shields. That chest over there is nigh impossible to get unless you have some mobility increase. Now whether that mobility increase is um, based on your uh, third ability, which is usually some sort of um, additional ability, or you have like the rusty jetpack, or Paul's goat hoof, or the red whip which we haven't seen which increases movement speed outside of combat. Uh, if you have one of those, then you might be uh, better able to get that specific job. Ah. Some of these jumps are kind of tight, so I try to make them late, and then I make them too late and just fall off. Order two. So, don't want to spend too much more time on level one. Uh, get the stompers here. Head stompers hurt enemies by falling. Now, if you fall from a high enough distance, uh, the resulting shockwave will cause damage to. Enemies. Hit that teleporter. I hit the squibs the wrong way because I got stuck on the friggin' rope. Enforcers make for pretty good tanks, as you can see. But they don't match my play style very well. Okay, that's, the quids have recharged. See how much health that took away? down at the Colossal Neural, increase health, health regen, and armor. Yeah, this character would have been much better equipped for that one platform from the last one. Thank you. 
can get out of anything over here. Apparently not. I'm gonna be stingy. Thirteen enemies left and they're probably all right here. Nope, oh, wrong button. Care much for the soldier. Soldier, just to point it out, uh, makes it so that every, every enemy, every non boss enemy on the field that is currently in view. Well, uh, there will be a go- uh, go- <laughs> There'll be a ghost that spawns out of it that will, um, assist you in battle. It can be really good. Um, but it's very situational. Ding dang dong, up to medium. Nothing down here. When you're trying to play with an analog stick and that stick is kind of loose, so you kind of let it go and all of a sudden you're facing the other direction. I probably need to get a new controller. possibility of uh, bleed on hit. Uh, forget what a crowbar does, but I think it's additional crit chance. I, I did mention the red the red whip that uh, increases uh, movement speed out of combat. time limit in this game. Um, if the difficulty bar uh, reaches the top, then that's just the time difficulty is capped. 
So the game won't get any more difficult because you took two. Ah, uh, there was a chest there and I missed it. There's a con uh, container here. I missed that. I'd say level 10 is just about the limit of where I want to get the war banner. Pretty much where I've gotten the war banner the last three runs. I don't like that. Also, I got the ukulele, which um, will basically arc lightning uh, between enemies on hit. And then down oh, the hard. Really? Okay, I won't get it from down here. I need to go higher. That should be plenty high enough. Valium. Chance to slow an additional damage on me. Give me. Teleporter can be somewhere near where we ended up putting down a uh, war, uh, war banner, but probably not. Where is it? 
gone around the entire level now. I'm sure we've seen it, and I know it's not down there. I remember that. Get out of the... Oh. I hate those mushrooms. I really do. I hate those mushrooms. How about you? I wish anyone from J Pop's raid would have actually stayed. Like, I can understand tight knit groups, but. What one can stop by and say hi sometimes in other places. Especially if it's someone you've seen before. Hey Zero. Hope you enjoy your night off. I gotta say, this is some pretty good music. Also, this uh, toolbox that I have in my active uh, items right now uh, will automatically repair all of your drones. But we really haven't been lucky with drones. We found like one so far. And it didn't last very long. So I want to dump this as soon as I can find something else.
Uh, that didn't turn out well at all. Choose a new character. Why not? Let's go with our starting character, Commando. Uh, so Commando, pretty much bare basic type of attack. So you got your double tap, shoot twice for 2 times 60 damage, 60% damage. Full Metal Jacket, shoot through enemies for 2 30% damage, knocking them back. That is a piercing attack. Tactical Dive, uh, roll forward a small distance, you can't be hit by while rolling. And Suppressive Fire, fire rapidly, uh, about... Thank you, phone. Fire rapidly, stunning and hitting nearby enemies for 480% damage, and that's about six shots, I think. Going commando without underwear. Gotta believe it. I was hoping to get a really good run going. Because if you get a really good run going, then that could probably just be my only run of the stream. Snow blood again. When I talk really good run, I mean like a run that goes like three and a half hours. I just realized. Uh, also, turn that off. I just realized the chat overlay has been off this entire time. Or has been underneath the, the game capture. I guess anyone who's watching the VOD later on is going to have no idea what I was talking about with some people. So, well, I guess. And deal bonus damage to healthy monsters. That's what the crowbar does. I can't get up there. Yeah, you can see the artifact over on the left side there. Uh, if I was able to get up there, we'd be able to actually move toward uh, that artifact. Maybe someday I'll have an actual, like, um, an 
actual stream layout that allows the chat to be in its own little spot in the corner. Ah, one dollar again. One dollar away from getting an item. The great philosopher once said, dollar dollar bill, y'all. I'm not gonna get it because one of them ran off to the left. Oh, I got it anyway. Got the fire shield, which I'll get on taking heavy damage. And then I died. It just started the same song, so it didn't it didn't bother fading it out and back in. Yeah, commando I'm really not good with commando. I guess it's probably my worst class. Which really sucks, because when you start, you only have Commando. I spent like three hours before the stream started. Um, just playing and trying to unlock other classes. There's one that I really wanted, but um, yeah, thanks a lot, Fire Shield. There's one class that I really wanted, but... Uh, the pretty high um, restriction for it. You gotta get 15 monster logs. Okay, early war banner. That's very good. Let myself get mashed in the face with that. Number two. Midair some result, don't mind me. how you handle a combat shrine. I don't have enough money for another round though. A lot of 50 chests here, I don't like it. No sir, I don't like it. Two drones and another 50 chest. I was considering uh, starting the teleporter event early and just getting chests afterwards, but uh, it's a very expensive level. At least if you want it. 
At least you managed to spawn a warbander right next to the teleport. Oh good. Combat grind right right up against the edge. I'm so happy. Got the head stomers. Let me get this chest up here. More head stomers. Oh my goodness. I I actually got them with my head stompers, that's amazing. There we go. Okay, combat shrines are usually just good for two at most. So that's been defeated. Ooh, leeching seed. Dealing damage, heal you. Very good thing to have. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the top board actually. Oh good, the magma one. It's Maggie! Drums there. Actually, I lost both of them. I brought one back. Not probably not gonna be able to afford the other one. Unfortunately. Well, maybe. Okay, Magmore dealt with. Just gotta casually have four friggin' war banners right here. You know, NBD. Very good. Energy cell. Considering how much time I spend at low health, it might actually be useful. Okay. 
I am going to scat, uh, to scat the rest of this level. I forget if there was any other chest. I don't think there are any actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm not gonna bother checking the top left. And I am gonna check some of these platforms up here. Oh, okay, so there is something up here. Including you. Eating embryo, so use items have a chance to have double effect. So that could be that they last twice as long, or it could be that they have um, just double whatever effect. Like if you do squid and the beating embryo proc, uh, then instead of 30, it will spawn 60. Um, another example of the Somering. If the beating embryo prox was Somering, then it will uh, spawn a Somering both front and back. I think down here there is a vending machine. Gonna have enough money for that yet. Also, the cost of the chest I will mention, I don't think I have. And I'll mention that the cost of the chest is based on how much time was on your clock when you entered the level. Or specifically, how much time was on your clock when the chest was created. Which in 99% of cases, the chest is created when you enter the lock. That is not always the case. something over there. It's not dead yet. Now it is. Ooh, happiest mouth. Killing an enemy summons a ghost. And the ghost will fight for you. They'll disappear after like 10 minutes. They're good to have around. Especially if you have like a mess of enemies. So it appears that it is the birthday of an old friend of mine that I unfortunately haven't talked to in a long time. Which is a bit of a sad thing, but... Sometimes... Uh, sometimes you just kind of go in different directions. Not so much the friendship ends, it's just that you lose touch. 
So wherever you are, Jade. Happy birthday. Kind of a thing, you know? Like, sometimes paths will diverge and sometimes they'll converge again. Like, for instance, uh, with Zero and J-Pop, like I, for, for quite some time I was just kind of stuck handling things over on my side here wasn't able to really interact with anyone from online. But we made it back together. But it can't happen. I wish that I could say that about everyone that uh, I used to know back at that time, but uh, there were unfortunately some, some ties that needed to be stopped. Another reaching seed. Another thing about drones, you can repair them after they've fallen down, but it will take progressively more money to repair them. Uh, do I hit the teleporter? Yeah, let's do it. Oh no! It spawned two of them. Because I'm on hard. The chance is only very small that it'll spawn two bosses on hard. But it is definitely there. Two for the price of one. Well, thanks for stopping by, Terry, and hope you have a good night. Hey, see that, uh, I've lost my drone, and in order to repair it costs 350 now. I think it's partly based on, um, how much, uh, Well, that sucks. Yeah, I'm not I'm not good with uh, commando. Really want this one, but I don't have it. Uh. Go back to Acrid. Then. All right. 
I need to remember the teleporter is right back where I started. In the top left. I did ATG missile mark 1. Chance to spawn 1 ATG missile on hit. Hey, can you imagine if I pressed the wrong button? Can you imagine if I pressed the wrong button? No, but can you imagine if the actor didn't have that ball and chain on him? How much faster he would be? It'd be nice if there was like a um, a secret uh, class with like unleashed acrid, which is literally, literally just the acrid except no ball and chain, so it's a lot faster. And I've completely lost track of most of them now. Yeah, that didn't turn out well. So with the spike strips. The drop spike strips on the on being hit are slowed down. As you can see. I did take a hit on purpose there to show it off. It's very hard to see, but you can kind of see the, the white dots that show up on the floor. On the ground. Hey, Paul's good hook. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, that one paid off. That is. That is so many chance shrines. Three up there, one down here. Another one over here. Fortunately, they're paying out for it now. There we go, light saving. Find some more chests rather than uh, than shrines. There's one up there.
Uh, the Carrera Marble. Not great. Basically, I can make it so that um, I can put down a temporary board. I'll demonstrate it. Wow, these are paying out really well. I'm gonna use it here. Now that's gonna stay there for as long as I need it to. Not to the left, stupid. Notice some enemies exploding as they die, that's the will of it. You look on the left side, it's the um the second from the right. Oh yes, now I want the forward key, definitely. Oh, that, that, that does mean I can't properly demonstrate the career marble, but it's just you put down a portal, and then you use it again, and you go back to where the portal is. And then I'm dead. Game's not easy, folks. So much gold. Uh, a successful run can take as long as you want it to, but uh, normally you'd probably spend a minimum of about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, once you get to the next to last level, um, the teleporter will actually turn into a primordial teleporter. And uh, that one has two options as far as travel. You can either press one button, like your regular interact button, to, um, to basically loop back and go back to the first level and do everything over again. Or you can press the item swap button instead and that will initiate the end game. We'll actually uh, transport to the final level instead. Uh, once you've unlocked the primordial teleporter for a run, uh, the teleporter will always be the primordial teleporter. So you can close the loop at any time. So you don't have to go back to the next to last level. And just close the loop at any time and actually finish the game. Uh, keep in mind that the more you loop through the game, the harder it's going to get. But you also end up kind of getting to a point where, although you do need to stay alert at all times, as long as you're actively interacting with the game, you're pretty much indestructible.
I'll also note that um, the final boss is definitely no joke. And so even when you've been through like three loops of the game, uh, the final boss's final form definitely still poses a threat. Like, you can be on to him, like, full blast, and he'll still get you there. Check, and then now I'm going to easy. There is also a risk of rain too. Uh, that one is basically this, but in 3D. Uh, I have I have tried it, and it ain't real in my point. Uh, maybe it would be better with uh, multiplayer, but I'm not in a position where I'm able to play that game multiplayer. <laughs> More possible fudge. Come on, Maggie. Come on, into the caustic sludge, idiot. Happy as math, nice. Yeah, there's definitely some added features to the rest of Rain Jewel. Like, you have Lunar Coin, that's a whole thing. Um, you actually start with uh, two classes, the Commando and the Huntress. okay game, but I think the fact that it is a 3D game, like, I am not as big on 3D games personally. They sometimes grab me, like, in sometimes get my attention, like, really solid gameplay, like Destiny 2. I played a fair amount of that. But most of the time, 3D games 
are not quite my cup of tea. This greater with cannot hurt me from up here, so I'm just gonna don't mind me, I'm just gonna kill you from here. What's in the big box? Teddy Bear! Tough time! Reduce incoming damage by 14%. Let's see how much that helps. Considering that I tend to face tank everything, considering that you sometimes kind of have to as awkward. Big box here. It's not dealing with you. Also, I don't like how the um, the friendly cloud of spores is the exact same color as the unfriendly cloud. I'm two away! Okay. I have the money now. Punchy glove! Then some knock back on me. Box. will teleport to your location and wreck your face. Okay, I can afford that big box. Let's go do that. Before I die. Again. I could really use a bustling fungus. I really wish there was a fungus among us. You can always trust that fungus. And I'm dead. Well, uh. ah, one more is accurate. I am getting super nowhere right now. Not 
<laughs> At least it was in a hilarious pose. Yeah, I'm getting super nowhere. I'm not getting any achievements or anything. I, have, I don't think I've gotten a single achievement this entire session. Counting the session of when I started the stream, as opposed to before I started the stream. Timekeeper secret, not great. Definitely useful in near death situations though, and I've been in a lot of near death situations that have resulted in, well, death. We got the ukulele. Also, you might notice, like, some items will, uh, actually add kind of a visual effect to your character. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting to see how beefed up your character can get. I just kind of loaded with visual effects and like to the point where you can't even see like can barely even see like the uh the compass arrow when you're clearing out the level. Come back to the teleporter. Just from remembering that it is around the middle of the level. I don't remember if there was anything I left back here. I did. I think that's Thumb Ring has my name on it, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go finish this level again. Oh man, if I had started at like 
a few seconds earlier, I would have had a very easy level ball. Telling us, stay alive. I felt dangerously low there. Summering off the collar was bleeding, as I'm sure you could probably, you know, guess by the fact that it is literally a rotary spell. Something over here. How did you get all the way over here? There actually is an achievement for finishing a level with no enemies left on the field. As you can imagine, it's really hard to get. Sky Meadow in a while. The game does generally have a much higher chance of doing the cave as the second level rather than Sky Meadow. If you loop back around, I think then the then Sky Meadow has a uh, higher chance of appearing. I guess you can consider it the alternate level. break your leg by falling like that. Um, I mean, you kind of do. It's just that th this is Mortal Kombat rule. No matter what sort of internal damage you have, it can be fully healed at any point in time. The only difference between this and Mortal Kombat is once you're dead, you're dead.
if you're high enough above the, um, the guy called the parent, the smaller versions of the are called children, as you can probably guess. If you're high enough above them, they can't hurt. see the teleporter back there. And you know what? I'm gonna go activate the teleporter. We're very poorly equipped. But I'm gonna go activate it. Not like we've really had a good run so far. And also we'll just get the one ancient wisp. A medium does not have a chance of uh, Double boss spawn, unless you're on monsoon difficulty. And monsoon player difficulty, I should say. And the difficulty that you choose. Um, when you start the game. Six enemies and a boss. Oh, geez, our HP got that low. Boss is dead. It did summon a couple of dudes. Okay. I keep jumping. Reproc it because I just collected another one. Oh, ding dang dong. The hard. Which won't increase the difficulty of anything that's still alive. Unfortunately.
Okay. Have we even made it to level 3 in this session? I think this is going to be the first time, as long as I don't muck it up at the last second. <laughs> One enemy is remaining only. No, it's the horrible gelatinous blob. By which I mean the literal ball of friggin' soul fire. There we go. Unfortunately, all that time we spent took us like most of the way up to very hard. I could just stay here and let my HP uh, regen, but that would also increase the difficulty. So here we are in Ancient Valley. I believe this is the standard level 3. The one that's more likely to happen. Taking all kinds of falls right now. Dang down, we're up to very hard. Ouch. Stay up. Oh jeez, there's... Uh. There's an elite in there shooting ATGs. That's not cool. Oh my goodness. I think we're dead, guys. Yeah, we're dead. You know what? I'm gonna have one more run. But this time I'm gonna play on Drizzle difficulty. Because screw this. Our last run is Bandit. So this time we're starting with uh, 35 monies instead of 15. Oh, good! One of the friggin... Oh, there we go. We actually did get it. I'm probably eventually gonna do another Risk of Rain stream. And I might try to grind um, Huntress. Which is the one that you need to get um, 50 monster logs. As like I said, usually my first game in any given save file, oh, I want that. My, fir my first win in any given save file is going to be on Huntress. I don't have enough money for that. Uh, she, I think she does a little bit less damage than average. She has a much higher movement speed than average. And also, um, 
she can shoot behind her while moving. Just so I can get a couple of extra buck here. And that was for this. Yeah, I'm not getting that. That, um, you can put down a lantern and it will be your enemies and die. With the kind of luck that I've had tonight, I probably should. Come on. Man. Okay, I'm gonna count my successful um, my success my successful killing ones. Right now I'm at one. Most of them it. That would have felt earlier. Also, I'm looking at the clock here. This is probably going to be my last one. Because it is almost 1 a.m. Two. Three. Really? One shot that dude? your bar four. something game. Also, I find it kind of a cool effect that the, um, any monster that leaves a corpse, or any enemy that leaves a corpse, the corpse never goes away. Also, I just I pressed the wrong button there and leaves out my corpse. for spikes for this too. Start that up. It's Maggie. Got missiles for you. Uh, I didn't mean to do lights out there. Reset my count again. I'm bad at this achievement, especially if I'm trying to be cognizant of it. Why? Should 
medium range. Not completely with that one. One. Two. Three. Again, it just goes politely too high, is the problem. Let's turn to lights out the boss, and it didn't work. Seven count will carry over to the next level. I see this little notch here. Um, that is a little hard to but if you manage to blow it up, you can open it up. And if you can make it through that little platforming section, they'll give you an artifact. I already have this artifact on this file. So I'm not gonna bother. Ding dang dong, we're up to Eevee. Also you notice we're at nine minutes now and we're just at easy at this point. So it does take longer for the uh, time-based difficulty to increase. banner so far as we're not over level 10 
Not a cute one. This is going bad. was just me being dumb. Yeah, you know, here comes the ancient wisp again. There's like 5,000 children there. up here, I'm going to put a countdown to run out, then I'll go deal with the ancient wolf. Over to the right side. There we go. Let's deal with you guys this way. Throw bombs at them. Well, they can't do anything to you. Realize it's a very cheap way to do things, but you've seen the luck that I've had. I've been playing this game like an idiot. How does deal with you? Start by just. Helping you with missiles. There's a wall there. Cool. Means I don't get to kite you around. It also has no contact damage there. That, that is a thing to remember. Very few enemies actually do have contact damage. Like that, bitch. Oh, one health. Did you see that? One health. Get rid of you guys.
I didn't realize I was in range of, uh, of that golem's attack. I almost died. Again. On easy mode. I think this is alternate level 3. Yeah. Because the Sky Bridge is standard level 3. Also, spoilers, this is the credits music. So if nothing else, I, I can I can say that we got to hear the credits music in today's stream. Not because we won, but because it's also the tune for alternate revolution. That's a dick move. I'm just putting a box right there where I can't get it. Ah. Now there, there are no death pits in this game. If you fall off the level, you just respawn. But there is something special because here you. It looks like you're just going to drop off into a pit, but if you hold to the right, you end up here. And you get the artifact of the moon. There's a lot of these here. And why do why do so many of you have ATGs? It's not cool. believe that uh, this level does have a much higher percentage chance uh, to spawn at least to have APG. Oh, this is not cool at all. Eh. How do I deal with this? I can completely miss my bomb. Too. That's one way. 
not deal with anything. Are they healing? They're healing! How was I supposed to deal? How is this easy? Diplomacy failed. Yeah, like this, this is on drizzle difficulty, on medium time difficulty, and what the hell was that? Harsh way to end, yeah, you got that right. I am done. Ah, <sighs> you know what? This game keeps playing music in the background, so I'm just gonna leave it on this screen so we can hear the music on our way out. So I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, we had J-Pop with the raid, uh, Zero followed in with the raid, and uh, Tyrion who came in on his own accord. And anyone else who might have dropped by, I do appreciate you being here. The next scheduled stream is the Sunday Shuffle, which is going to be on Sunday, possibly... Let me see. Who signed up for it? Is anyone signed up for it? Discord, please. Discord has frozen. Let's try this again. Nobody signed up for it. Cool. Um, so if it's just me, I'm still gonna do it. Um, might use some easier settings just to get through it faster, because it's not as fun if it's just me. And I'm also gonna be starting late. So probably around 8.30 um, Atlantic Daylight Time, which for y'all on the West Coast would be 4.30. Uh, uh, um, so that's the next schedule stream. Next schedule stream after that is our next long run stream, which is going to be at, um, on Tuesday starting at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, but we're going to be continuing with our long run of Virtue's Last Reward. Um, next stream after that is the co-creator stream Wednesday at uh, 3 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. We're going to be continuing work on uh, the Shuffletron. Zap zap. Uh, and around this time uh, next week is gonna be probably uh, probably zero streaming. <laughs> probably around the end of his stream actually. The the talking portion of it. Uh, this will start of the talking portion of it. Uh, there might be an unscheduled stream on Saturday. Um, because there's going to be a Blitzkrieg Zooks in the Me Megazooks community. Uh, which is a, um, basically a one to two hour competition where we make a Megazooks game. And so if I can think of something to contribute to, uh, this Blitzkrieg Zooks, uh, I'm probably going to stream it and uh, then also stream everyone else's entries. And, um, it should be a fun time. Yeah, see, they are, they are healing. I'm, I'm still looking at the game screen here. All the bastards are here. Kind of awful. I, I honestly didn't realize that there were some elites that healed. Anyway. Um, the Blitzkrieg Zooks uh, co-creator stream will probably be Saturday at around 10 or 11 uh, 
I think this daily time will last for about two to three hours. For the time that it takes me to make a game and um, then actually review everyone else's games. Alright, so that's gonna about do it for this stream. Once again, thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.